Okay, we have Mark. He's in a company here. There's 80 employees. Everything is going fine for most people here. And we're going to write down Mark's salary, $43,700. So as I said, everything is going fine until we get to the words where it says quartile. What does it mean to say he has the second highest salary in the first quartile? So understanding this problem, these words is, of course, the key to unraveling this problem. Now we have 80 people. That's how many people work with Mark, 80 people. If we were to break that up into fourths, notice the quartile here. That is, we have 20, and now with the next 20, so that gives us a total of 40, a total of 60, all the way up to 80. So we go from 1 to 20, 21 to 40, 41 to 60, 61 to 80. That's what a quartile is. That is, the first quartile would be right here. First 20, or 1 through 20. Second quartile here, third quartile, fourth quartile, or the highest quartile. That is, the person who makes the most money would be right there. But we only care, of course, about the first quartile, which is down here. So it looks like Mark here isn't making that much in the company. He has a salary that's the second highest, the first quartile, which means 19. So if he were the highest in this quartile, he would be in position 20. But he's second highest, so he's position 19. Now, I guess it's summer. Maybe they got a bunch of interns, but they have eight new people. So plus eight over here. And all of these people get less than the lowest person down here. So as I said, probably summer interns. So at that point then, things shift a little bit because now we have a total of 88 people. So if we want to find the quartile breakups, we have to divide 88 by four and, we have to, and we'll get 22, which now means that we have one to 22 for the first quartile and then 23 up to 44 for the next quartile. So boom and boom, drawing it down here. So what happens to Mark's position then in the company? Well, we have eight people who make less than him. So he goes up for the 19th position to eight more up, which is the 27th position. We got there a little bit more, but part of the reason I'm drawing a thing is we don't really care about this quartile over here anymore. Now he's the 27th down here. So where actually does that put him? Well, He's now part of the second quartile. So you can get rid of answer choices A and B because they deal with the first quartile. And you could say, well, he's not the lowest. That would be 23. Second lowest would be 24. Third lowest, 25. Fourth lowest, 26. And boom. Therefore, he is the fifth lowest in the second quartile or answer choice E.